Multiple Moderation in SPSS In multiple moderation, we deal with more than one moderator. At the very first step, mean centered the predictors for the multiple moderation. For this, first simply calculate the mean of the variables and then subtract these mean values from the original variable to get the mean centering value. Let's do this. First go to analyze, descriptive, descriptive and these are the predictors, study hours, previous exam scores and exam anxiety. Select these predictors and shift to variable box with the help of arrow. Now click the button option, uncheck standard deviation, minimum, maximum, press continue. Click the button OK. Get the output. In this output, you will notice the mean value of study hours and previous exam scores and exam anxiety. Now, click the transform, compute variable and in target variable, you will write here C for centering value study hours select study hours shift to numeric expression and add the subtraction sign and uh, here you will subtract the mean value study hours you can check the mean value in output the mean value of study hours is 49.43 So, press the button OK. In output, you see command has been executed. Now, in input of SPSS, you see the centering value. This column indicates the mean centering value of study hours. In this way, you can calculate the mean centering value of previous exam scores and exam anxiety. So, here, you see, we have calculated the mean centering value of study hours and mean centering value of the previous exam scores. Previous exam scores is the independent variable, means study hours is the moderator. Exam anxiety is also the moderator. Now you can generate the interaction term. For generating interaction term, you go to transform, compute variable and in target variable, you will write the previous exam study hours. So now you will select the previous exam centering value of previous exam multiplied by study hours and get the output. So in this way you can generate this this interaction term so we have generated the interaction term and now we can apply multiple moderation. For applying multiple moderation, go to analyze, regression, linear. Current exam scores is the dependent variable, so it, so it goes to dependent box. And here you will select the mean centering value of previous exam scores, study hours and exam anxiety and shift to independent box. Press the button next. And now you will select the interaction term, previous exams and uh, exam scores and exam study hours and previous exam scores and exam anxiety and shift to independent box. Click the button statistics. Here you will check the R squared change. Confidence interval. Press the button continue. Click the button OK. Get the output. This output indicate. 
moderation multiple moderation output this is the model summary in model summary you will focus on the r square value of model 1 and r square value of model 2 this r square value of model 1 is 0.73 and it indicates 73% variation in the outcome variables showed by the predictor and 0.78 the R square value of model 2, it indicates 78% variation caused by the predictors in the outcome variable. And this ANOVA table, this ANOVA output indicate both model 1 and 2 are significant because P value is less than 0 0.00. Now the coefficient these coefficient, these are the, this column indicate unstandardized beta and this indicate standardized beta and these are the p values. Previous uh, constant is the dependent variable and dependent variable is the current exam scores. So the previous exam scores in model 1 positively predicted the current exam scores, study hours and study hours also positively predicted the current exam scores and exam anxiety also predicted the positively predicted the current exam scores. These are the uh, standardized beta values and these standardized beta values are positive. And in the second model, previous exam scores did not significantly predict the current exam scores because p-value is greater than 0 0.05 while study exam scores and st study hours and exam anxiety both predicted the current exam scores positively predicted the current exam scores. Now the interaction term previous exam scores and moderator study hours negatively predicted the current exam scores and the next previous exam scores and exams anxiety moderator exam anxiety positively predicted the current exam scores this is the beta value and this is the p value is less than 0 0.05 so this is all about the output now we can show these output in the form of table this is the table. This table, the heading of the table is moderation of the study hours and exam anxiety between previous exam scores and current exam scores. This table indicate the first column is the unstandardized beta values of uh, previous exam scores, uh, study hours and exam anxiety. And these are the standardized beta values. And these values indicate uh, previous exam scores, study hours, and exam anxiety positively predict, uh, predicted the current exam scores. And in model 2, you see this value. We picked this value from the output. This is the output. And uh, these are the outputs. We picked these values from these output and entered in the table. And these also indicate Previous exam score in model 2 uh, non-significantly predict the current exam scores while study hours and exam anxiety positively predicted the current exam scores and the study hours moderator negatively predicted the current exam scores and previous exams uh, and exam anxiety positively predicted the current exam scores. In model 1, uh, R square 0.74 and uh, 0.74 showed that predictor described 74% variation. 0.78 indicates predictor described 78% variation in the outcome variables. So now you can get, this is the R, delta R square. And uh, this one we picked from here. This is the delta R square. 4% change in the variation. Delta R square, this one, this indicate 4.04. It means 4% variation in model 1 and model 2 with 
आर्ट स्केयर चेंज फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर वन विद डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम टू एंड वन फोर्टी सिक्स द फाइंडिंग डिस्क्राइब द स्टडी आवर्स एंड एग्जाम एंगजाइटी मॉडरेटेड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन प्रीवियस एग्जाम स्कोर एंड करंट एग्जाम स्कोर सो दिस इज द टेबल ऑफ मल्टीपल मॉडरेशन एंड दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द टेबल ऑफ मल्टीपल मॉडरेशन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो आई होप दिस वीडियो वुड बी हेल्पफुल इन अप्लाइंग मल्टीपल मॉडरेशन इन एसपीएसएस एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ द आउटपुट